Hey, welcome back to part three of the Blessings of Persistence. Today we're going to talk about persistence of action. This is everything that you do, everything. Not only do you have faith, not only are you praying, but now you are doing some action, meaning that you are going to be physically giving thanks, as in not only in your prayer, but you are going to be the way you speak, the way you think, Everything that you do needs to be centered around the Lord, right? So let's go to Galatians 6, 9. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap the harvest of blessings if we don't give up. So right here in Galatians 9, it talks about not only is there a harvest, but there's blessings when your actions are, you know, honorable, uh, where everything that you do honors God, right? So it's something that we need to be persistent on. That means the way you are thinking, right? Your, think, your thinking life, that's something that only you and the Lord know what's going on, but you need to be able to, you know, correct things. Like if your mind is wandering one direction and you know, like, oh, this is not good, because when your mind wanders sometimes, it can definitely throw people into depression. It can make people, you know, decide to make bad choices, you know? You need to be able to, you know, kind of control your mind. But then you also need to control your language, right? We already, we've already, we have already talked about this. Your tongue is a very powerful tool. You can speak blessings, but at the, then the very next second you can curse somebody. So being able to even rein that in and always speak blessings, you know? Pastor Jeff has been talking about, and Pastor Bobby have been talking about, you know, blessing people, even when you feel like they don't deserve it. Because when you bless some, somebody, you're allowing the Lord to come work in their lives and it turns things around for the good, right? So not only do we need to act, our actions need to honor God, uh, we need to think about our language, we need to think about how we speak, and we need to think about how we are communicating in social media. Yes, I had to bring that in because that is also an extension of you, right? You know, we share pictures of ourselves, we, you know, make videos of us dancing or, or whatever, but what are you communicating to other people? Uh, some of you may have a lot of followers, some of you may, may have not, but even if you have 10, you know, these are people that you are communicating with. You're affecting in some way, whether you make them laugh or educate them on something, you are affecting them somehow. So you are responsible with how you communicate that. So be very mindful of what do you communicate in social media? Is it positive? Are you glorifying God? And I'm not just saying, oh, you're gonna sit there and make a video of praising God. No, no, it's just through actions, you know? So if we go to 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 8, it talks about giving thanks, right? And giving thanks in all circumstances. So if we go back to the very beginning of the lesson we talk about, you might be in a tough situation. It might be something very hard, like maybe you don't know how you're gonna pay for school, or you're having a hard time with your relationship with parents. And it's very hard to thank the Lord during those times. But in those times, that's where your persistence in action is like, thank you, Lord, for my parents. Thank you, Lord, for my siblings. You know, thanking the Lord of what's going on to change the situation. You bless it and it starts changing the atmosphere. Your relationship with your parents changes, especially as you are persistent in your prayer about the Lord helping you and changing your feelings, changing the way you communicate with your parents, and you that's how you start birthing a miracle, right? And it might be very small. It might be a small thing where you're asking the Lord to help you with maybe a test or something you're doing online for school and you struggle with it and you you know, you're hopeful, you have faith, and then you pray about it and then you know, you give thanks through your actions. It might be small, but then you know, that teaches you how to tackle the larger things. A testimony would be when me and my wife wanted to buy a house, right? At the time, we didn't have the finances and we didn't even know how to go about it. And, but we were hopeful, we got faith, we got a promise from God, we stood on it and we were persistent in our prayer and, we, and in our actions, we were thankful because we knew that the Lord was moving things in our favor. Because we started believing the Lord that he was gonna turn things around and he would bless us. And now we live in a brand new house built from scratch. And it's been, a, it's been such a great blessing in our family that we are even surprised sometimes like, wow, I can't believe the Lord blessed us with this house, that the Lord made a miracle. And even now during this quarantine time, we, we have come out in an even better situation financially. Uh, the Lord has been able to change things around. So uh, remember, be thankful in your actions 
and always honor God in everything that you speak, everything that you do. Make sure that it always glorifies the Lord. So not only do you have to be persistent in faith, but you have to be persistent in prayer and you have to be persistent in your actions. So thank you guys. Glad to see you. And I cannot wait for all of us to come together and have youth group again. God bless you. Bye.